Hello everyone, it's Jack here and welcome back to another episode of Feed the Beast. And I am down here today in the work in progress liquids room because we have a little bit of a problem with the stuff we set up in the last episode. So if you didn't see the last episode, we went and set up a bunch of um, sewage production from the cows and used that to turn it into fertilizer and then used the fertilizer to create biomass which then got turned into ethanol. And lots and lots and lots of stuff. Well, we had a bit of a problem with that setup. So in between episodes, I worked a little bit on trying to fix that. And well, here's really what I've done. And I'll show you the problem, what happened in a second or two. First of all, though, if you do enjoy today's episode, then don't forget to drop a like down below. It helps out a bunch. And let's get on with the episode. So this is the stuff what happened in between episodes. So all of this stuff was running just as it was in the last episode. And then we ran out of power which in turn caused quite a bit of a problem because we then ran out of the wheat importing so then it screwed up all the hoppers so what I decided to do when we got power back online all I had to do was go and move the lava pump that's in the nether which we're using for power uh, so all I had to do once the power pump was online is I set up two separate ender chests before we had all this stuff going into one of them and what was happening is that when we ran out of wheat all the fertilizer was taking up all the slots so that meant that it wasn't getting any wheat and there was nowhere for the fertilizer to go so now there's two separate ender chests leading into the side and into the top so that that's no longer going to get confused and then once that started working fine we then had another problem which is the wheat farm now we set this wheat farm up a little while ago and this is using the steve's cart tree farm cart thing <laughs> uh, it's using the custom steve uh, carts farm and um it's using a cart that's powered by lava and then that goes around and harvests everything and this is working perfectly fine for just a normal wheat farm but we're going to be using all of this wheat for power and that means we need a lot much more wheat than we're actually getting from this farm so today we need to upgrade this farm uh, with some upgrades we need to get rid of this cart because it's taking up way too much room and we need to maximize the amount of area we can grow wheat on which to do that we're going to use mine factory I did try speeding up this wheat farm as well. I made a bunch of these fertilizers because I had a ton of this industrial fertilizer left over from all the sewage. I also increased the sewage production, which you probably saw at the beginning of the video. I m moved it up to four composters when we only had one, and that's working really well. Uh, we've still got enough sewage to keep up with that, so that's awesome. And I made these fertilizers, and these are speeding the farm up a, a decent amount, but that cart just can't harvest it quick enough. Uh, this wheat over here has grown before the cart has even gone around, so it's really inefficient, and we need to switch this over to a much 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 better system. I also ran out of storage as well ironically so I ended up going and having to make another ME drive. I talked uh, taught the system how to make these 16k storage cells, made another 10 of those and a drive and now we have tons of storage uh, for loads of stuff and the reason I ran out of storage is because of another thing. I know there's a lot of stuff which has gone on in between episodes and that's because I've been trying to make tons of progress for something I'm working on. Uh, so in between episodes I've been quarrying a ton in the Twilight Forest, tearing down all the big towers with like the Twilight Liches in, the UR gas or whatever they're called and I now have an absolute ton of stuff in here. I've got to set the quarry up one more time to finish off the tower but we will do that another day because I don't want to do that in a video. I want to get the farm set up so that's what we're going to get started with right now. So let's actually yeah, let's get started with it instead of me rambling on. So like I said, I need to improve the farm. So what we're going to do instead of using the cart is we're going to use a planter to plant all the seeds. And that is made with this little thing just here. So let's find a planter, not a plater. It's a planter. <laughs> I can't type today. No way. So there we go. There's a planter. That should be really easy to make. I've got everything ready to go for that. So that's not too bad. And then I'm also going to need a harvester as well. Now, depending on the upgrades we can actually get for the harvester, we may be able to get away with just using one of these. And um, that might cover for enough of the farm to be able to harvest everything or we may need four of these to keep things symmetrical uh, and still cover the amount of area of the farm but we will see we'll see I'm doing a, do a little bit of a test with this quickly so let's just grab the harvester now I think this is a just a three by three range in front of the harvester and I think the plant is a three by three range so if we want to bring that up to somewhere like 15 by 15 we're gonna need some massive upgrades and the upgrades we can get are actually all of these ones here so we can get up to an 11 upgrade so I think that's 14 block radius and I think the farm is uh, what is that that's one two three and four five six 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So we are probably going to need more than one of these harvesters. But we'll roll with one for now and we'll see how it works. And I'm going to hook it up just here because this is the closest place uh, to all of the uh, energy conduit. So we've at least got somewhere where we can test it. Now we're going to need a little bit of energy conduit for this. So let's just grab some out of here. 
energy conduit. There we go, and let's grab 10 of that, and we'll also grab a chest just to quickly test this out with. Now, I'm not going to do all the setup for these on camera, because I do have something a lot more exciting planned for today. Something that I've been really wanting to get done for a while, because we really have no armor at the moment. So I want to get a power armor suit set up today, probably. Depends if we've got all the stuff to do it. That's why I've been quarrying quite a bit uh, in between episodes. But that's the plan for today, but I do want to just quickly test this out on camera and see how much of a range this has. So it does a 3 by 3 area in front of it, so it should cover this area I'm standing in and nothing else so let's try a, um, a maximum size upgrade and what I want to do is see if it covers this entire farm because uh, I can remember in FTB Unleashed the five upgrades seem to do more than uh, a five radius which is kind of odd so that's why I just want to quickly test this out and see if this works so let's have a look so we need a upgrade and an emerald one now I don't think I have many emeralds but we should be able to get away with one or two. Let's just have a look. Oh, we've got 11. Okay, it's enough for a couple of these upgrades. Awesome. So that is our emerald upgrade. And I think that is everything we'll need. I'm just going to grab a tiny bit of bone meal as well. And we'll quickly pulverize this up. Because what I want to test is I'm just going to bone meal some of the wheat down there. Just so we can test the furthest away point in case some of it hasn't already grown. So let's just grab a little bit of this out of here this should be done uh, 18 should be plenty actually for a couple of bits of this sweet so let's go and quickly test this out if I throw that in there uh, that should cover the range all the way over to here maybe let's just give this a second or two it might take a few seconds for this upgrade to actually kick in and start working um, it looks like it is sort of working I'm wondering whether we can just disable this cart quickly Let's just turn this down to disable, just so it doesn't move, and that's not harvested anything. And what I want to do is just quickly test this. So let's bone meal a bunch of this wheat all the way around here. We'll do a little bit of this as well, and that should be plenty enough, and this should start harvesting the area over here, maybe. Uh, I'm going to give this a second or two, because it does take a little while, this harvester does. Um, once it sort of gets into its groove and it's working a lot better, it works a lot quicker, but once you've got one of these big upgrades in, the machine does seem to slow down quite a bit, so we may need four of these, even if this does cover this entire area. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a quick cut in today's video right here, because we're already a decent amount into today's video, and I've not even got started on what I wanted to do in this video. So I'm going to quickly cut the video here, test out a bunch of these harvesters, see what's going to be sort of the best option for us, and I will be back in a little bit. And I'm back, and the farm is now done, which is looking really, really, really awesome now. I've got all of the harvesters set up. I ended up going for four of them, two on that side, two on this side, just to keep things looking symmetrical. I was going to add another two there and two there, but I'll end up doing that if we need it, which it's looking like it's a possibility that we may need it, but these four should be fine for now once they kick in and get working. All of these have got diamond upgrades in. Turns out we didn't need the emerald ones. The diamond ones reach to about here on the harvesters, so with two, that's side to that side they cover this entire area which is really nice and this works really really well so I'm absolutely happy with it. Uh, behind here I've got the power range at the bottom there's a void pipe on either side of these just out of the way and that's going to get rid of all the sludge that these produce when it harvests and then on the back just a chest with a precision import bus and that's working really well. Uh, the reason I didn't put the import bus on top is one I don't think it'll import directly out of the harvester and also it saves me having to make facades so <laughs> I'm happy with that. It means if it's just out of the way back there with the chest, everything looks a lot better and uh, things look a lot cleaner. So that's awesome. So the next part of this setup that I want to do is to just sort of tidy this up a tiny bit more. So at the moment, it's looking fairly clean. All the tracks are gone and everything. It is sad that our Steve's Carts farm has disappeared and gone. But hey, I suppose everything is a lot better now. So that's something we can look forward to. Now, to improve this farm a tiny bit more, I want to get rid of these little bits here because they look really 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 ugly and I don't like it so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make something which is a lot cooler we've made some of the things some open blocks in the pla uh, in the past uh, which are these tanks so hopefully we've got a couple of these left over we've got one and I can make another couple of these so let's go for four and what I want to do is I want to make some sprinklers now the sprinklers are really awesome 
And if we take a look at them just here, we need a few things which we should already have. It's just the redstone torches we're missing. Now, what the sprinklers do is they mean you can remove a source block of water from land, and then these will go ahead and fertilize the land. And I think it does a lot more than just one normal source block would do, so I think they cover a bit better range. So that's going to be awesome. Four of these are going to be really cool, and um, I think they're going to look super awesome once they're done. Now, for that, I'm also going to need the end the tank with the water in, and I'm going to need some liquid ducts as well, just to keep these filled up with the water. So let's see if we can find some liquid ducts. Oh no, they're fluid ducts, aren't they? I always forget they've changed name. So there we go. That should be everything we need. Now there's one more thing I want to quickly do before we move on to the something else. And this is something I found in a hollow hill in the Twilight Forest while I was quarrying. So this is an uncrafting table. And what I want to see if I can uncraft this and get my emeralds back. So we need nine levels. And, yep, awesome, so that's used nine of our levels, which is really cool, uh, but it's gave us our emeralds back, and since we're that short on the emerald supply at the moment, that is really kind of useful, it's helped us out a little bit, because we are going to need some emeralds later, when we start messing around with the power suits. So let's just head back up here quickly. I'm not sure why, but I'm getting a little bit like frame rate loss. I'm like at 20 FPS around here, which is really hard. I think my computer's dying. <laughs> uh, so let's go and just quickly hop down here and um, we'll set these up. So all of these sprinklers need a tank below them and that tank needs to be filled up with water. So I tell you what, I'm going to get this done off camera because there's going to be a lot of fiddling about moving the liquid ducts around, setting the ender tank up and all that type of stuff. Just quickly though, before I do do that, uh, this is what I did with the planter. So this is how all the seeds are getting replanted. Below here is just the planter and the diamond upgrade in there. That perfectly covers all of that area. I think it might be a little bit overkill as well. I think we might be able to get away with a, a smaller upgrade. But I had plenty of diamonds, so that's fine. And there's just an export bus putting seeds into there. So that is working really, really well. Anyway, I'm going to get these tanks set up and the sprinklers. And then we'll move on to doing something with the power suits. Oh, check that out. Doesn't it look so amazing? Well, it looks really pretty as well with these sprinklers. Now, the only problem is that with all this mine factory stuff running and everything, my computer's really not liking it. My frame rate's really dropping, so I'm going to have to figure something out in between episodes uh, to fix that. Maybe turning particles off might even help, or disabling something in the configs. So I'll have a look through, see if there's anything that happens. But it did this before on FTB Unleashed as well, when I used a lot of mine factory stuff, and I had to move it all away from my base. So that might be what I have to do here, but we'll figure that out in the future if it becomes a problem. Anyway though, let's actually go ahead and get started with the power armor because I finally want to get a suit of armor. I was going to use a suit, uh, try the, I think the major's robes out from Ars Magica and I was going to test that out a little while ago but I decided that I'm not going to be doing anything with Ars Magica. It's not really my kind of mod. I've been messing around with it a little bit in um, a creative world and haven't really sort of enjoyed it so I don't think I'll be doing anything with Ars Magica in the series which is kind of unfortunate. I did say at the beginning I was planning on but if I'm not going to enjoy it I'm not going to do it. So anyway, we're going to just get straight on and make a power armor suit because I need a new set of armor. I went into the Twilight Forest and kept dying to uh, some of the bosses and things like that, so I need something. So if we click on this Tinker Table, you can see that there is nothing in here. Now, I've already done power armor before in the FTB Unleashed series, so I'm not going to go too in detail with it today. All I'm going to do uh, today is we're going to make the very basic sort of bits of armor and then I'm going to do all the modules and stuff off camera and get that done out of the way so I think it's at modular power suit so we need to just turn this synchronized thing off there we go and we need to do at modular there we go and we should be able to see this stuff so for all this stuff there's two recipes these are IC2 ones and then there's the normal ones and the normal ones are actually not too bad to make so I'm going to roll with that so we're going to need some wiring and we should be able to just quickly get that in there. What is it? Let's just have another look. Uh, we need silver and copper. Okay, so we want some copper. And we can just get rid of some of this. We can throw some copper here and here. There we go. And then we want some silver to go in the center. Now, I should be getting a ton more metal soon. I did set up a quarry, but it doesn't seem like I'm getting any. And for some reason, this recipe doesn't work. Copper. Uh, Jason shaped. I'm not quite sure what that is. Well, we might have to roll with another recipe for now. Then we might just have to use the electronic circuits from IC2 to create it. That's not too bad then. Let's go with this recipe. Slightly easier, actually, since we've got all the um, 
what's it called, the circuits created, because I made a ton of them ages ago, so that's not too bad. So these are all the bits for the armor. You've got the glove, you've got the leggings, the chest plate, the boots, and the helmet, and you can add a bunch of modules to these to improve them, because by default, they don't really do a thing whatsoever, they just look cool. Now, if you right-click on this, while you've got some of these in your inventory, you can then go ahead and modify it, and for each of these things, you need things to upgrade it, so if you wanted an elite battery, you'd need a HV capacitor, if you wanted energy shield, you'd need four field emitters and you need an absolute ton of stuff for all of this. So what I'm going to do is because I've already done this in a previous series and I've already made the modules on camera in other series and all that, I'm not going to do that in this series. I'm going to get this stuff done off camera, I'm going to configure it off camera and then I'm going to show you how I've done it all and show you some of the really sort of basic things what I've done with the armor and then we're going to test it out. And I'm back, so it has been quite a while since the last part of the video, I've spent around the last hour messing around with this power suit stuff and putting a bunch of modules onto these pieces that we made in the last part of the video. So I've done a bunch of stuff to this, there's still some customization I've got to do uh, in between episodes, but I've got most of the stuff done today and I'll show you what I've done. So first of all we've got energy, uh, the modules on this is an energy shield, an elite battery, they're the best ones we can get and that's on all the bits of armour, apart from the legs which has also got the sprint assist and up hill step assist and I've also got the shock absorber on the boots to cancel out fall damage and on the power fist I've got a bunch of stuff on there as well and this took quite a while believe it or not because I had to use all the IC2 recipes because the power suit ones for some reason for me at the moment wasn't actually working so I had to use all the IC2 ones which meant I had to make all the cable and all that type of stuff which took a long time but I actually think I'm going to wrap today's episode up here because well, I've got the stuff done that I wanted to do, and I know this episode's been a little bit shorter than usual, but at least in the next episode we are pretty much ready to go with all of the power. Now, we did set up the improved wheat farm at the beginning of today's episode, and that now, I, I believe, is working quite well. We've not got any wheat in here at the moment, but we have increased on the amount of ethanol that we've got, and I think it's just going to take a while for the wheat farm to actually catch up uh, with that um, fermenter. Fermenter? Yeah, that's what it's called. I always forget. So... That is actually going to be everything for today's episode, as I said earlier. I hope you've all enjoyed today's episode, and if you did, then a like would be really awesome. Uh, th I'm going to keep an eye on this wheat farm in between episodes and see if we need to speed it up anymore. I don't think we will need to, but I'm going to keep my eyes on it, and it looks like the fertilizer for the moment has stopped, so I'm going to have to look into why that is. Uh, other than that, though, hope you've all enjoyed today's episode, and I will see you all on the next one. So bye, and cue the awesome music.